So, you know, in 25 years of working with thousands of retirees, I've noticed that there's one mistake that causes more people to run out of money before they run out of life than any other one mistake. And I've got good news. In addition to sharing what that is, I'm also going to tell you the solution in just a minute. But before we dive into the topic, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know, if you enjoy the video, uh, click the thumbs up button, give us a like, make sure you share the video with your friends and let's get into it. He watches the markets in the great city of Memphis, Tennessee. If they raise rates tomorrow, it could be a sign of confidence. The financial advisor extraordinaire. He's with McAdams Group. Of course, Wall Street doesn't like rising interest rates. And I know people from all over the Memphis area come to visit you for help with their RMD. David McAdams is with us. David McAdams. David McAdams. There are exceptions to the rule. That's, that's very interesting because that's a kind of against conventional wisdom. That's the insanity of it. All right, so in just a few minutes, I'm going to give you the solution. I'm going to explain to you what you need to do in order to avoid running out of money before you run out of life and how you can retire and have some dignity and peace of mind and the income that you need to stay retired. You know, think about retirement. Think about the definition of retirement. I love a simple definition. I like to say retiring means you have all of the income you need for the rest of your life. In other words, when you take that last breath, you had enough income to live your lifetime. Now, the problem that most of you have is your investments are not structured to actually generate income. And I want to give you a great example of what I'm referring to. You know, when you're investing, and your investments are volatile, they're going up and down and up and down, but you're 30, 40, 50 years old, you're actually adding money uh, every couple of weeks when you get paid. That's called dollar cost averaging. And the good news is if the investments go down and you add more money, you actually accumulate more shares and you're paying what's called an average cost per share. And believe it or not, that volatility can be your friend. Over a 20, 30 year accumulation period can actually help. But guess what? It's the opposite when you retire. It's the opposite. Because instead of adding money on those dips, tragically, you're pulling money out. I'll share an actual real life example. I had a client of mine that was in for a review. This was back in 2007. And he, he was very happy and he said, hey, I've referred a friend of mine. My buddy's gonna come see you. I said, great. And he went ahead and shared a little bit about his buddy. He said he's, uh, he's got a, a 401k at work. He's got about $500,000 in the 401k. And he wants to roll it over into an IRA and retire. I said, great. So I met with his friend. His friend came in. And his friend was a nice guy. He said, you know, David, I don't want to waste your time. I want to let you know up front I'm shopping around. It's between you and a buddy of mine that works at a Wall Street firm. I'm not going to name the company because, frankly, they all use the same model and that's the problem. I'm about to dive right in to the one mistake that causes more people to run out of money before they run out of life than any other mistake. And it's exactly what this gentleman ended up falling into this classic trap. You see, I showed him how to generate true income. He had already told me, David, my wife and I have already started drawing our social security checks. That was actually a mistake, but that's for another video. <laughs> we'll come back when we talk about optimizing your social security. But he had already started drawing the social security. He had already started drawing his pension from work. So I was dealing with a fact pattern that I had to make fit. He then said, I've already done the math. I need $2,000 a month from my 401k to make ends meet. He had about $500,000. If you do some quick math, have you, have you heard of the 4% rule? I've done entire radio episodes on my show about why the 4% rule is dead. He needed 5%. 5 but his buddy at the Wall Street firm showed him a mutual fund portfolio, used what's called a hypothetical illustration. Have you ever seen these? These little reports, they've got beautiful charts and graphs. He had a big color pie chart. It looked beautiful. And... 
It's just junk science. It's junk science because this hypothetical report said, if you earn 10% per year and you pull out 5% per year, it had his portfolio growing for 30 years. It had him pulling out hundreds of thousands of dollars and he was gonna retire happily ever after. What I explained to him is I explained, this is not how I would recommend setting this up. If you were my parents, we would not be doing this at all and here's why. And here was the fatal flaw, the trap that he fell into that so many of you are, in, are positioned the same way. I said, if you have even one recession in this 20 year period here, this entire math blows up. Now he had lived through the 2000 through 2003, 50% stock market crash, but by 2007 it had recovered and that's when he came into my office. He thought the worst was over. He thought it would never happen to him. And he was expecting the stock market to go up 10% every year like magic for the next 20 to 30 years of his life. Let me ask you, have you ever seen a stock market that goes 10, 10, 10, 10, 10? Of course not. It's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous notion. That's not how it works. It's very volatile, right? Now, during this time, he was going to get money out by selling shares. I want you to write this down. There's a simple formula that all retirees need to know. Write this down. TR equals I plus G. We'll put it on the board. TR equals I plus G. What does that stand for? TR stands for total return equals income plus growth. Now, in this model, they were putting in mutual funds and it gets even worse. They were charging a fee on top of that. So all in, he was paying over 2% in fees. And then the income on his investments was almost zero. So the I part of the formula on his bond mutual funds, and this was 2007, his bond funds were paying about 5% income. Warning, they're not today. They're paying about 2%. But what's five minus two because of the fee? It's three. Five minus two is three. He needed 5%. If he was only gonna get 3% in income, he was gonna have to rely on the G. He was gonna have to rely on growth. He was gonna have to cross his fingers, hope and pray that the bond fund goes up every year for the rest of his life. Gets even worse. A big percentage was going into the stock funds. In fact, more than 50%, about 60% was going in the stock market. That was his choice. The dividends from the stock funds were averaging about 1%. The fees were two. <laughs> one minus two is negative one. He was starting off with negative I. The I part of the formula was negative 1%. He was relying completely on the G and he needed no less then 6% growth to pay the fee and take money out to keep his principal the same. The one mistake he made was investing for the G instead of the I. And so many retirees make the fatal flaw of thinking that the way they invested when they were 20, 30, 40, 50 years old is still appropriate to invest when they get into retirement. Listen to this, listen closely. You're, you're not working anymore. You're not adding money, you're taking it out. You're going from the accumulation phase into the distribution phase. You're gonna be withdrawing money. And I want you to ask this question. How is your well-meaning financial advisor going to get the money from your investments into your bank account so you can live your life and enjoy your retirement. How are they gonna get it? They're gonna sell shares. They're gonna use what we call the liquidation method. Unfortunately, there is no income or there's very little income. So every time you need money, you're gonna to have to sell shares. Think about the psychology of retirement. What is retirement about? It's all about the income. You know, think of, think of a farmer. You know, if you live in a rural area or you know, you've probably heard 
of this farmer's mentality. Ask a farmer to sell some land and see what kind of look you get. They're gonna give you kind of that stink eye look. <laughs> they don't like selling land, right? They don't like liquidating the asset. They don't like cannibalizing the asset because that asset is what's producing the income. They wanna plant and get their yield off of their farm. They want that income coming in. And when they die, they want the farm to stay in the family so their children can get the income. They, they hate selling the land. But guess what you're doing by investing for the G? You're selling the shares to get your money and you're doing it year after year after year. And to make it work, you have to have this unrealistic rate of return every year and never have a recession. Let me ask you this, in this day and age, do you believe that if you retire today and you live 10, 20, 30 years, do you believe you're never going to have a recession in the next 10, 20, 30 years? It only takes one. Let me tell you the rest of the story. What happened to that gentleman? What happened to that gentleman in 2007? Well, sadly, he went with his buddy. He went with his buddy, but I know what happened because he was a referral and my client told me what happened. They put him in that stock and bond mutual fund portfolio. They started sending him $2,000 a month magically by selling his investments and sending him the cash. Two years later, at the age of 64, his $500,000 was worth less than $200,000 because the stock market dropped and he was taking money out at the same time. And it blew up his entire game plan. He went to get a job. He, he couldn't get his old job back. He got a job selling appliances because at the time it was the only job he could get. His wife went to work back. Uh, she was working at the church. She went back to work. And I know this for a fact, 14 years later, they're both still working. And it didn't have to be that way. Think about it. Door number one, door number two. It's all about the income. If you could have a million dollars, but it was only generating $15,000 in income, and over the next 20 years, you could only safely take out $300,000 without selling shares. So a million dollars throws off $300,000 over 20 years. Or door number two, you have $800,000, but you could get $40,000 of income and you could generate $800,000 to live on without selling the shares. Which one would you want? I'm telling you, it's all about the income. Don't be like the gentleman in 2007. Understand and learn how you can make the critical shift of investing from the G and going to investing for the I. You know, at McAdams Group, we believe that planning should be simple, easy, inexpensive. We wanna help our clients decrease fees, decrease risk, increase income, increase safety. If those are your goals, let us help. Click on the link below, fill out a short 60 second questionnaire, and you can have a complimentary meeting with one of our retirement specialists.